Vana Rastra. Nandi Astra. Prabhastra. Jalastra. Pavanastra. And Brahmastra. In these last few years, we have been building the foundation of a universe of cinema based on the concept of Astras, the Astraverse. Brahmastra Part 1 is the first movie of this Astraverse and it begins with an image from a mystical time in ancient India where a group of sages are performing deep meditation in the Himalayas. And for their meditation, the sages are blessed with the light of the universe. The most powerful and most pure energy there is. A Brahma Shakti. From this Brahma Shakti, Astras are born. Astras which have within them all the different energies that are found in nature. Fire, wind, water, earth. The Jalastra, Pavanastra and the Agniastra. Astras which have within them the powers of different animals, like the Vanarastra, which can give to the person who controls it the power of a super monkey, and the Nandiastra, which has within it the power and strength of a thousand bulls. But there is one Astra, the last one to emerge from the light, carrying its collective essence, the Lord of all the others, which the sages name after one of the most powerful weapons the Brahmastra. The sages vow to protect these astras and as the guardians of the Brahmastra, they name themselves the Brahmanj. A secret society which will exist amongst other men and do good for the world with the power of these astras. Time moves forward, humanity progresses and the Brahmanj carries on as well passing on the Astras generation to generation all the way into our world today where the Brahmanj still exist in secret. India as it is today is where the story of Brahmastra is set. I believe this puts us in a very unique position because no one has done what we are doing with ancient Indian inspiration in the modern world ever. And now on to the hero of Brahmastra, our protagonist, a young man who is yet to discover that in this world of Astras, he is a miracle because he is an Astra himself. Agni Astra. In keeping with our spirit of tribute to our roots, he is named after the most dear to me personally, the most mystical, the all-powerful and my greatest inspiration, Shiva. Shiva. 